A verdict late this afternoon in a Tallahassee corruption trial as businessman JT Burnett is found guilty on a handful of charges. This is video of Burnett and his legal team as they left the courthouse immediately afterward. The jury finding Burnett guilty on five counts, including extortion and mail fraud in connection with an FBI front company. The jury finding him not guilty of racketeering and three other charges. The verdict, one of the final chapters in this corruption scandal, Capital City correspondent. Monica Casey has been in court throughout the trial. She was there when the verdict was announced. Monica, a breakdown of all of what happened today for us. Well, we've been waiting here at the federal courthouse all day. We got word of the verdict around 440 this afternoon when the defense team came rushing inside. As the verdict was read, there wasn't much reaction from JT Burnett, his legal team or his family. This decision comes after two full days of deliberations by that jury. The group finding JT Burnett guilty of extortion involving an FBI front company, Southern Pines Development, two charges of honest services fraud involving involving two $10,000 checks, guilty of violating the Travel Act by facilitating a bribe over the phone, and guilty of lying to the FBI. Now, the defense had no comment leaving court today. You can see the group exiting in complete silence. Burnett faces a lengthy sentence. The extortion charge and the fraud charges carry up to 20 years each. Now, this case has long cast a shadow of corruption over the city of Tallahassee since 2017. Former City Commissioner Scott Maddox and former Downtown Improvement Authority Director Paige Carter-Smith have both already pled guilty. Tallahassee Mayor John Daly put out a statement soon after the verdict saying, quote, I am disappointed and angered by how the public trust was violated for personal gain, and this should anger every single citizen of Tallahassee. Our entire community bears deep and lasting scars because of the self-serving acts of a few. We must all rededicate ourselves to the hard work of healing our community. Now, Burnett is set to be sentenced on October 28th. As a condition, he is not allowed to leave the Northern District of Florida at this time. Any appeals would need to be filed after sentencing. Reporting live at the Federal Courthouse, Monica Casey, WCTV Eyewitness News. Okay, Monica, thank you. Maddox and Carter Smith will be sentenced on September 9th.